our young family living here in Dunlavin. Uh, this is our son, Daryl. We also have a daughter, Tegan. She's seven and a half. Daryl is um, four and a half. He was born with a, a rare genetic condition, uh, wolf hirschhorn syndrome. Um, that's easy. He's a great little guy, best in the world. That's why we're trying to fundraise at the moment for uh, to get a wheelchair adapted uh, vehicle so that we can get him out and about. Daryl has wolf hirschhorn syndrome. It's a, it's a very rare syndrome here in Ireland. He means he has a global developmental delays. Um, he has very poor muscle tone. He would have been born with two holes in, in his heart, which have be, since, been, um, since been rectified. Um, he has dysplastic kidneys, which means that they're, they're smaller than, than average. But um, he hasn't really had much issue with them since having the heart operation. The increased blood flow has, uh, has helped him no end. Um, with poor muscle tone and that, he's not able to support himself. He's not able to sit up unaided. Um, he can't walk, uh, crawl. But um, but even despite all that, like he's he, he's very happy. Um, he has a brilliant smile. Yeah, it is very good for him. He's he's a, he's a great little fella. Yeah, it, like it's it's very time consuming. Um, he, yes, I know. He um, well, Daryl is fed through a peg tube. Um, he doesn't take anything orally. Um, so like each feed, we say it takes about two hours to go in. So, um, you know, he has to be supervised, you know, when he's feeding, he has like his stretches. Uh, he has a whole range of equipment, different chairs and that he goes in for different supports. He has a standing frame. He has a supported activity chair. This is like his, uh, his lazy boy. This is, um, yeah, his pea pod. And this is his relaxing chair for chilling out with the family. So what's this that's going on here, Mark? This is um, this is Daryl's feed. It's a fully fully balanced diet. Um, that's he can't take anything orally, so that's he he, um, he takes it this way in through his uh, gastronomy tube. <laughs> But um, that will go in now over about an hour, 45 minutes. Now, you okay? School is about three days a week in Newbridge. And they're great over there in care. Like, they do all exercises with him as well. And he's, he loves it over there, so. Actually, one, of, one or two of the services have been, been brilliant. Um, Jack and Jill has been an absolute godsend. We've had, um, we've had the same Jack and Jill nurse from the, from the very start. And uh, I have to say, like, without her, it would have made things an awful lot harder. She has, yes, really been, she has really been brilliant. Um, not only with, with um, Mind and Daryl, we'd, we'd get a couple of hours a week from Jack and Jill but uh, even for advice, um, you know, just even having a, an, an ear, you know, some, someone else to talk to about concerns and that as well. She's been, she has been absolutely brilliant. Um, Laura Lynn as well, Daryl gets, um, he gets, he gets a few days up there a year respite, um, which is absolutely brilliant, because sometimes you do just need a break. Yeah, transport at the moment is difficult, he's in, his um, his car seat wouldn't really be suitable. He's, he's not supported correctly in it. Uh, he's he's getting too too big for it as well. I think for, like he's getting too big for any car seat. Uh, his next step now is is uh, he's going into a supported wheelchair. So um, that's what we what we need is um, is a vehicle that'll be adapted that we can just wheel his wheelchair up and. Um, have him restrained that way and to, to bring him to bring him to places and um, yeah just say like his, his needs just aren't really being met at, at the moment but that's we we set up the, the GoFundMe campaign and um, doing it for Daryl 
um, because it, uh, you know, at, at the end of the day, you know, he is who we're doing it for. Um, it is very daunting, you know, because you're you're opening yourself up. Um, basically putting you know putting everything out kind of publicly uh, which is a very big step uh, but that's you know we just have to kind of remind ourselves at the end of the day that it's this little man that we're we're doing it for